are listening to Dr. Troy Munson with words of radiance. Now here is your host, Dr. Munson. Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Troy Munson. This is one of the funniest things that my kids and I have talked about for a long time, and it's just one of those aha moments that I hope you have with this and have a little fun as well. But the title of this particular podcast is, You Cannot Become Angry. Here's the long and short of that. I mean, if you just hear the first part, you probably got it all. If you want me to unpack it for you a little bit, stick around. But it is impossible for you to become angry unless you are already angry. And it's, un- it's impossible for me to be happy unless I'm already happy. It's impossible to really experience love unless you are already lovable or loving. And at times you can feel that way. Even a, a mom, let's say, who is, oh, let's say is not the kindest person in the world, at times will feel intense love. It's not that you can't. And it's not that if I'm a genuinely happy person most of the time that I can't on occasion be a bit upset. But it certainly won't be for very long. And this might be a better analogy, or at least a way to think about it, so that you kind of understand where people bob, so to speak. And I've talked about this concept. If we have like an ocean, and there's different depths at which people will bob, and they just kind of hang out at that section. And I've used it in terms of how people will do business-wise, financially. You can literally use it for anything. So where we are happiness-wise is about where we're bobbing. And the higher up we go, the closer to the surface of the ocean, so to speak, where the light is, is the more happiness there is in our life. So let's say people that are in fair amounts of grief, shame, guilt, apathy, they're bobbing at about the lowest point they can. It's pretty dark down there. Their amount of happiness isn't very much. And it's real easy for them to just basically stay guilty constantly and shameful constantly. And they will do things that will keep them at that point. You cannot make them guilty. They make themselves guilty because they are guilty all the time and that's how they feel. And ultimately that occurred because of some belief system that they stuck in their own head and that they haven't found yet. And when they finally find it and they realize, I don't want this anymore, that's when all of a sudden they propel into those upper reaches or those upper areas where there's a fair amount of happiness. So let's say that you were going to use your happiness quotient, so to speak, as where do you bob? So let's say that somebody is that's happy 50% of the time. Okay, they might be, they might be at pride. Uh, they, might even, they might even be at greed pretty constantly, but they consider themselves happy about 50% of the time. When we crest above that 50%, we start getting into the areas of spiritual development where willingness is, where neutrality is. Neutrality is quite happy most of the time. I'm neutral. I don't mind whatever happens. It's not that I do not care whatever happens. I simply do not mind whatever happens. I'm not attached to a lot of things, and it's okay. I'm happy being me, and you can be you, and I'll be me. And then we get up into things like reason and we do a lot of reasoning about things and we start to get a bit more cerebral and we become fairly, I don't want to say innocuous, but we're not dangerous, so to speak. We're really quite pleasant and we're not harmful to people. And as, let's say, let's go down, we start being a bit more harmful to people where, um, you know, I'm a bit attacking because I'm prideful or I'm greedy, so now I'm trying to get mine before you get yours. Uh, Maybe I'm a little bit desirous, so now I'm using people. Uh, Maybe I'm at hatred, and so now I'm rather quite dangerous, or at least seems to be, at least bodies hurting bodies, so to speak. And it seems like I'm fairly aggressive and and not very pleasant to be around, and my level of unhappiness is, is constant, and I watch things on the news so that I can be what I am, which is unhappy, and since I'm this constant unhappiness and angry, I'm going to go after situations that I identify with that allow me to be exactly as I am or that I think I am. So you can't make somebody be happy and you can't make somebody angry. Uh, Let's say that you go into a store and perhaps you don't want to wear a mask, and so you don't, and somebody gets totally angry and all over you, you know, just jumping all over you. 
Well, you gave them that purpose or that ability to express what they already believe and are about themselves. Hey, I'm angry, so now I'm going to find the things that legitimize my anger. So you cannot make somebody angry. They're already angry. You cannot make somebody happy because they actually have to decide to do that. You can only decide for yourself to be that which you want to be. And so my goal with this podcast is that you would start looking around you and say, what are my tendencies? Wow, my tendency is to be frustrated, to be angry, to be upset, to cry easily, to be depressed, to be whatever it is. That's your tendency. So now you have to ask yourself, is that an okay tendency? Am I happy being those things? And maybe you realize that you are. Now that is quite undoing of the whole situation that you're in or that the belief that you think. So just even that in of itself, realizing that, you know, if I just allow myself to be angry, I'm actually quite happy about that. I don't really technically mind, but maybe I'll decide to actually be really happy just to be happy. And so we also have a saying in my house that it's just happy to be happy. Well, that's just weird. Yes, but it is. It's happy to be happy. So as we, as we embark upon this, I want you to kind of really dig in and, and digest this. Perhaps maybe you, you're critical. Maybe you're selfish. Maybe you're disappointed. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're biblically trained, and so you're going to speak out against that demon of criticalness or selfishness or disappointment. I don't mind whatever you call it. You're welcome to rid that portion of the lie that is pervasive in our society and let go into untold greater heights of spiritual development where the Holy Spirit, I mean, you can hear the voice of love constantly in your mind and be guided and realize, wow, this is really quite a comfortable, amazing, loving, happy place to live. I rather like this. So these are, these are ideas that begin to play around with, begin to watch. What do you do? How do you respond? How do other people respond? Wow, that person is almost always angry or upset. Huh, they must have a belief that they are. That's what they want. I wonder if I could say or inject some truth into their mind that would shine away that thought or at least help them see and then they could decide otherwise, because maybe this person is close to you. Great. Begin that process of letting them have air to breathe and let them express exactly what it is that they are without, oh, without being hidden or convoluted or covert. Let them see it directly. So we're not going to judge them because now that just lends to the, the whole confusion. We're just simply going to watch and notice with every aspect of our being. And as we notice with complete unattachment and non-judgment, all of a sudden you may watch that person begin to change miraculously and watch them balloon, bloom from this tight bud of a flower that is afraid to express itself completely as love to completely bloomed and open and beautiful where we get to see the full nature of love of that individual. Wouldn't that be an awesome thing to just simply be present and watch another let go completely and do exactly that? So you cannot become angry. You cannot become happy. It is what you actually are. So if you're angry most of the time, realize that you actually just simply are angry. You didn't become that way. You are that way. And if you are happy most of the time and filled with love and light, that is because that is what you are. Now, just because an angry person might think, well, then I must be made of anger. No, if you let all that go, you'll find that you are the same as all of us. Light and love and peace and joy. I encourage you. Until next time. I'm Dr. Troy Munson. Mm -hmm.